Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here yet, you are obviously welcome as well. My name is Brecht and I create videos around digital storytelling for businesses. So if you have a small business, if you are an entrepreneur or you are a content creator who wants to work with businesses, then please check out my channel as well. But in today's video, I want to talk about how you can grow your business YouTube channel. Because we all know we want, we hear that YouTube is the place to be for uh, businesses as well, but it's not always easy. You don't want to be going sharing uh, your branded videos, but you want to create valuable content. And that is what we are going to discuss in this video. The things, the insights that I'm going to share with you aren't all made up by myself. Obviously, I'm going to show, uh, also going to talk about the things that I noticed and the, the tools that I uh, got to learn and know. Um, but most of the insights actually come out of a playbook made by Google to help businesses grow on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to discuss four topics and these are the four topics that you will need to think about when you want to grow your channel. First off, how do you get your video found on YouTube? Next up, how can you get people to click on your video? Uh, next up, how uh, get people to subscribe to your channel? And then also last but not least, how can you get, keep, get people to continue watching your channel? videos. So let's start off with the first uh, topic in this video and that is getting your videos found. So if you have a small business you might already have some branded videos about your company but what you want to think about is how are people going to find my videos and it's not always thinking about telling your story only but also thinking about the problems and the frustrations that people are looking to solve uh, with videos on YouTube. So if you have, for instance, a plant store where, for instance, I bought this uh, little plant, they could make a video about a tour around the shop and telling all of the different plants that they have. But I'm not going to look for a video tour of a store. I'm probably going to look how I can take care of this plan. And so if you make how-to videos about uh, topics that I face, the problems that I face, I don't know how to take care of this plan, so I will look for a video online and then this way you will get your videos found. So there are some things that you can do. Do some research on the topics to talk about where are people looking for what are people what are what, which problems are people facing and you can do that with doing some uh, research on keywords there are some tools that you can use for this uh, I actually use a uh, tube body and you can uh, type in some keywords and it will give you a ranking if this is a good keyword to make videos about you could also uh, install a plugin for Google Chrome which is called Keywords Everywhere and whenever you type a keyword in Google or in YouTube it will give you uh, the amount of search volume monthly for that specific keyword. I'm not going to go in depth and show you how that works that will be for a next video but sure make sure to check out TubeBuddy and Keywords Everywhere because they will help you with finding the right topic. So, now that you found the right topic, you also have to tell YouTube what your video is about. So, how do you do that? Well, there is a couple of things when you create a video, what you can do. First, you have to fill in a title. So, make sure that the keywords that people are looking for are also in the title. Also, put these, uh, these, uh, these keywords into this description. Not only give a link towards your website, give a bit of a description of your video, what is the video about, what are you going to discuss, and not only put your link to the website there. Then you can also fill in tags, and these tags are also used, you can put in extra keywords in there to give YouTube an idea of what your video is about. And one uh, last tip that I want to give you, 
uh, whenever you post a video online, YouTube will automatically uh, try to transcribe your video. But in my instance, I know my English isn't perfect. I'm from Belgium and I have a huge accent on my English and I'm pretty aware of it. So sorry if you have to listen to it. But whenever YouTube transcribes my videos, there are always mistakes in that. So go in to your YouTube video and go and edit the transcription that YouTube has created for you and put in the right words. And this way, YouTube will also understand what you are talking about and will give a lot more context to your video and will help you rank better. So that's it for ranking on Google, uh, on YouTube, because people will look for something and they will have to find your video whenever they are looking for something that they want to have solved. The next thing I want to talk about is get clicked on. And that's also going back to your title. Is your title very appealing to click on? You can make it a bit clickbaity. I know that a lot of people don't like that, but you have to create a title that people want to click on. And next to that, you also have the thumbnail. You can actually upload a uh, thumbnail of your own and make that appealing, put some tags on there, put some colors in there, uh, it's always good to have some a pop of color in there so whenever people go to your channel they can see a lot of colors or maybe one color coming back and also when you are in the search results if it's just a black frame with a text on that's not very appealing. It's always good to show yourself as well because then they know somebody is going to tell them personally what how they can help you solve the problems. So make sure that you are in the thumbnail as well and maybe give a bit of a text overlay like I did with this video. These two first tips, uh, getting found and uh, getting people to click on, I know you hear it everywhere, but still I see a lot of companies that just want to put online branded videos, give it to a the shop and actually not giving content that people are looking for. So really, really focus on that. You can obviously have videos about a tour around your shop and branded videos, put them in a separate play playlist so people when they are interested they can find it whenever they go to your channel. But don't let that be the only, um, the only content that you have on YouTube because you will not get found and people will not find your channel interesting. So next up is getting subscriptions and the first tip is asking people to subscribe like I'm doing at this moment. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to find out more about digital storytelling. So whenever you ask for it in your video, people will get aware that they might be interested to uh, actually um, subscribe to your channel because whenever they watch your video, they find it interesting, they might want to subscribe. So ask for it maybe also put a button in, in the top of in the bottom of the video with a subscribe button so people will see it and they will think oh yeah I can subscribe. Another thing that you can do is put a watermark. Uh, I'm a bit lost I think it's on this side or on this side and the bottom you can actually put a watermark your logo there uh, and you can upload it in the in the settings of your account and whenever you click on the logo you get a subscribe button so make sure to do that so when people want to subscribe they find your subscribe uh, easily as well so are you also linking from other platforms to your youtube channel for instance on your website do you have a link towards your youtube channel you can actually uh, create an auto subscribe link so it will be your channel and then there is some uh, part of a code that you have to put uh, behind your URL whenever people click on that link they will get to your channel but there will be an automatic pop-up where they can subscribe to your channel so if you share that link with a lot of people they want they get a pop-up 
and they might think oh yeah I can subscribe to this channel as well so that's a very good way of getting more subscribers as well uh, if you don't know how to create this link I will put an example in the comments here as well in the description here as well and I will explain how you can create that link in the description so please read that as well uh, then whenever you uh, when you have your channel ready also I know I don't have it but make a channel intro talking about where your channel is about because you can put that on top of your page on your YouTube channel I still have to create a video like this uh, I, sh I know I still have to create it but you can explain a bit about your channel tell a bit about yourself so people when they come to your channel they will get to know you a bit better and they will be inspired to subscribe as well and another good way to get more people towards your uh, towards subscribing to your channel is also create a community ask uh, questions in your video and, and whenever people are commenting on your video go ahead and, uh, and, and uh, answer their questions but also go to videos of people that you know or businesses that you know what, which do the same thing and go ahead and comment on their videos they might come back to subscribe to your channel as well it's always a two-way thing don't expect people to come to your channel and subscribe if you haven't uh, even engaged with them before so go ahead and engage with other people on YouTube as well to gain a bit more followers from other channels as well we're going to the last uh, topic of this video which is get people to continue watching your videos and there are a couple of things that you could do uh, the first thing being uh, create a playlist with uh, uh, related videos so whenever people uh, watch a video they might see that playlist and they uh, when they click one video the playlist will continue playing and they will see video after video of you so this is a good way to get people to continue watching your videos you could also make a series out of it uh, I could maybe start a playlist with a beginner course for YouTube and have 10 videos in it and uh, always get people towards the next video so that they can, can continue watching my videos then you can also have cards like here on top that uh, will link to another video so maybe I will be talking now about starting your YouTube channel then I can have a pop-up here that links to another video and this is also a good way to get people to continue watching to other videos on last but not least is the end screen so at the end of the video you have the end screen where you can have a subscribe button but you can also put another video in the end screen you can do that in the in the YouTube studio um, and actually a good tip that I found out about last week uh, when I was listening to the social media examiner podcast uh, actually I really recommend listening to this podcast I get a really good I will get really good ideas out of this podcast but actually a good idea was that whenever you stop your video like I will do uh, at the end of this video keep on talking and don't say goodbye and then show the end screen but actually show an end screen while you're still explaining and saying goodbye to your audience because whenever you say goodbye to your audience people will think the video is over so I can go ahead and go to the next video and they will actually not see your end screen so why don't you show your end screen here while you are still talking and if you are interested in this podcast, I will also leave a link to that podcast in the comments below here. Uh, it's a good uh, podcast about growing your YouTube channel as well. So I will link it in the description as well. And these were all the topics that I wanted to talk about. And one thing that I still want to say is that all the things that you can do uh, getting doing research and getting people to click and getting people to subscribe to your channel the most important part of growing your channel is actually creating valuable content that people want to listen to make it interesting until the end because one of the most important metrics that YouTube is taking into consideration is the retention rate a retention rate is whenever you start a video the percentage that keeps on watching uh, and what time is the average stop time uh, for instance if this video is 15 minutes if people only watch for two minutes then YouTube will think that this video isn't that interesting so 
they will also look what the average uh, playing is of a video and that's what they call retention time so that's very important so also make sure to create videos that are interesting from the start until the end of the video and that is also very important to grow so that people will put you ahead of the algorithm so uh, youtube will also put them on put you on your main page and then the suggestions suggested videos that's the way to go to have interesting content and this is the time for my end screen and here you can find a button to subscribe to my channel and here you can go ahead and watch my next video i think here i will put another uh, video related to youtube and if you like it please give me a thumbs up as well if you have more questions please feel free to leave some in the comments i am more than happy to answer all of your questions and i will see you in my next video bye